It is official. Construction work has begun on the controversial mirrored linear megacity called The Line, which is part of Saudi Arabia's most ambitious project, Neom City. A recent video that surfaced on social media shows numerous excavators digging a wide linear trench in the vast desert in the northwest of the Arab nation. Within the trench, foundations for the city which is planned to be 100 miles long are expected to be built. When the project was initially announced in 2017, it consistently raised eyebrows for proposed flourishes like flying taxis and robot maids, even as architects and economists have questioned its feasibility. People were convinced that this is just a utopian fantasy project that would never get built, but fast forward to today, the work on this futuristic megacity is now underway. The released drone footage has captured a part of the massive site, showing the initial stages of the construction of the city. The footage shows hundreds of trucks and machines working in the middle of the desert, preparing the site for construction. Extensive excavation work along the entire length of the project is now taking place. According to previously released renderings, the line will be 170 kilometers long, 500 meters high and 200 meters wide. But if you watch the construction footage closely, the width of the trench that's being dug does not seem to match the proposed measurements. The images that were released just a few months ago show large park areas, rivers and waterfalls, sports complexes, residential and commercial space inside of this massive structure. 200 meters is roughly the size of two American football pitches, and the trench seen in the drone footage is much smaller. The actual size of the line would ideally be three times the size of this trench, therefore there is reason to believe that this excavation could just be preparatory work for the underground high-speed transport system that is planned to be built underneath the length of the city. The line is arguably the most dramatic project in the world of architecture and construction right now. It has been designed to house 9 million people, and it will be higher than the Empire State Building with a gigantic elegant mirror glass facade. The city will run entirely on renewable energy with the aid of artificial intelligence, with no roads, cars or carbon emissions, making it a fully sustainable city. As of today, the city exists only on a website and a press announcement made by Saudi Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Despite the flashy announcement, Many design experts believe that the technology for such a city doesn't exist yet. According to proposals, the line is designed as a series of unique communities and they will be organized in three dimensions of movement, up, down, or across, which is a concept known as zero-gravity urbanism. The three layers include a surface-level pedestrian layer full of parks and open spaces, a lower surface layer, and an underground transportation spine that would consist of ultra-high-speed transit. The proposal claims that all daily services would be walkable within five minutes of each node on the line, and that commutes between nodes on the high-speed transit would take no more than 20 minutes. According to some experts, these goals are unfeasible. To support this level of public transport, the line would require larger nodes capable of holding more people, and if there aren't enough people at every stop, it would be impossible to economically sustain this infrastructure. It is also unclear if the technology for the line's transit system exists yet. Traveling 100 miles in 20 minutes would require a speed of 318 miles per hour, which outperforms existing high-speed rail by a long shot. Eurostar trains in Europe travel at about 199 miles per hour, and some of China's high-speed rail trains reach speeds of 236 miles per hour. Theoretically, the Hyperloop technology being developed by Elon Musk could manage the journey, but even that technology is still at least a decade away from use. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion-dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Behind all the innovation, some see this project as the most expensive publicity stunt in history, which is meant to distract the world from the harsh truth. 
While the dominant narrative is that Neom is being built on untouched land, the area is actually part of the Red Sea coastline which has long been one of Saudi Arabia's most neglected territories. There are indeed several towns that exist there that are home to 20,000 people who are part of a nomadic tribe known as the Huwaitat. There is no place for them in the plans for Neom, and in April 2020, the Saudi government planned to take over the land of the Huwaitat people, who have been farming in this province for several generations. One of the members who refused to hand over his ancestral land was eventually killed by the police, and soon after, his death sparked a wave of criticism from human rights defenders. Very recently, it was reported that three more members of the tribe, arrested for protesting against their forced eviction, have been sentenced to death. While the forceful removal of indigenous people may seem like a huge roadblock, it is just the tip of the iceberg. Saudi Arabia's desert climate is characterized by one factor in particular, extreme heat. To counter that, the mirrors on the outside of the skyscrapers will reflect it away from the buildings inside the line. This could create all sorts of consequences, given how enormous they would need to be. Areas where the sun is reflected off the mirrors would double in heat and any objects in the vicinity would possibly melt. Also, environmental planning experts criticize the project as they believe that the very size and length of the mirror line will disrupt the roots of migratory birds. Not just that, several wild animals will be displaced, and dynamics of groundwater flow will be affected. Considering the line's enormous size, it would be impossible to build a 500-meter tall building out of low-carbon materials, and constructing the line would require a phenomenal quantity of steel, glass, and concrete. Despite the line being free of greenhouse gas emissions and operating on 100% renewable resources, its construction would produce more than 1.8 billion tons of carbon dioxide, which is equivalent to more than four years of the UK's entire emissions. This would counteract much of the proposed green initiatives. In order to build the line and see its completion, Saudi Arabia will have to overcome both internal and external challenges around financial and technical feasibility. The biggest economic challenge is that Saudi Arabia has not been able to achieve much success in attracting financial resources and investment from foreign governments and companies. The reason being many Western countries and companies boycotting the kingdom and its prince over records of human rights violations. While the initial plan was to complete Neom by 2030 with an allotted $500 billion, some reports claim that the city may not be completed until 2050, which will likely increase costs significantly. It is predicted that the entire project, including the line, will cost the kingdom $1 trillion. The project is financed by the Public Investment Fund, the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Private Investment Fund. Except for discussions with some foreign companies including Russian ones, Riyadh has not had success in other financial partnerships for the line. The financial viability of the Public Investment Fund is highly dependent on the Kingdom's oil exports, a market that has proven volatile in recent years. In a country where around 60% of its financial resources came from oil, the financing of this megaproject is likely to face ups and downs. The project also requires overcoming the challenges of technology that Saudi Arabia cannot overcome alone. Adhering to advanced technologies in urban design that will attract the attention of future residents of this city and investors is vital. Otherwise, the line would join a long list of unfinished cities across the Gulf. King Abdullah Economic City, a metropolis and port with an investment of $10 billion, houses fewer than 10,000 people after 10 years, despite a projected population of 2 million. There is also the now-abandoned waterfront project in Dubai, the Blue City in Oman, and possibly the most infamous Dubai is the World Islands, which is now sinking back into the sea. So the question remains, does Neom offer anything that would shield it from the same fate? This future city is still in an early stage of development, so it seems too early to see if the 100-mile-long metropolis will become a reality. 
It is a bold initiative that sets a high bar for imagining what the future of cities should look like, and only time will tell if this is entirely possible. Comment your thoughts on this mega project below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.